rank the following set of data values. Okay, so what we want to do is to basically take the smallest data value, give it rank one. The next smallest data value will get rank two. Let's say if we had a tie for the third and fourth numbers, then we would give them the ranks three and four at first and go back later and adjust those. We'll talk about how to handle ties in the ranking procedure. And by the end, you know, we should have the highest rank to be 20 if we have 20 values. Of course, if there's a tie at the end, we may not ultimately end up with 20 as our last rank, but in the initial phase of the ranking procedure, we should be ranking basically the numbers from one to 20 if we have 20 values. And then we'll go back and adjust any uh, ties that we may have. So it's probably easier just to show how it's done than to talk about it. So let's go ahead and do it. I've copied all the numbers down here again to work with on this piece of paper. Only so I have the paper here nice and clean so if I want to fill in the ranks at the end, the final ranks, I can do that. In the meantime, I'll do all my work here. So here's how you do it. Basically you go through and you try to find the smallest number in the category, in the list, so that you can rank it one. Now, I see some numbers in the teens here. Do I have anything smaller than that? Well, 12 is real small. Any number smaller than 12? I don't see any number smaller than 12, so I'm going to go ahead and give 12 the rank 1. That's going to be its rank, number 1. Okay, and then from there I want to look at the next smallest number. Obviously 13 is the next smallest number, so I can give that rank 2. But I have another 13, so I'll give that rank 3. And I have another 13, I'll give that rank 4. Do I have any more 13s? I don't see any other 13s. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to circle those ranks though. Because I want to remind myself that they should not be all different like they are here. But I want to give them rank 2, 3, and 4 so that I know my next number gets rank 5. I'll come back and adjust these later. That's why I'm circling them, circling them so I remember that I have to come back and fix that. Okay, so 13 is the number that we were just looking at. 14 would be the next highest number. So I see two 14s. I'll give that the rank 5 and the rank 6, right? Is there any other 14s? No other 14s. Now again, since it's a tie, I want to remind myself that I have to go back and adjust those. So I'm going to put two little red dots there at the top of the corners of the box. This way I know that, hey, I have to go back later and I have to take care of that. I have to make an adjustment on those as well. I'm using a different symbol than I used here so I know that these are tied and these three are tied. And if I have another tie, I'll use a different symbol yet again, right? Okay, so that's my sixth number. Is there a 15 now? The number 15 would get the rank 7, right? Oh, there's 15. We'll give it the rank 7. You see any other 15s? No other 15s. How about the number 16? Is the number 16 in the list anywhere? I don't see 16. How about 17? I don't see the number 17. How about 18? Nothing in the 18s. Okay, so in fact, I don't see any other teen numbers, right? None of these numbers, if I check carefully, that aren't ranked already are teens. So let's start in the 20s then. Do I have 20 anywhere? No, I don't see 20. How about, well here we I see 22. Is there anything less than 22? Is 21 anywhere? I don't see a 21. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this rank eight, right? This would be rank eight, All right? Now, if I have 23, I'll rank that. I don't see 23, right? Now, if I look carefully, actually, if I look at the bottom row, what I have left is something in the 50s, something in the 80s, 70s, 70s, 90s. So this is not until I get to the 50s will I need to look in the bottom row anymore. So it's up here for the 20s, anything in the 20s. I have a 28 and I see a 27. So let's give this rank 9 and this rank 10, right? And I think that basically takes care of the 20s, right, in order. There are no other 20s in the list. Okay, so all the 20s have been ranked. How about something in the 30s? Well, I know the bottom row doesn't have anything in the 30s. So I look up here at the top row, I see 34, and I don't see anything else in the 30s. So I'm going to give 34 the rank 11. I don't see anything else in the 30s, so why don't we go ahead and jump to 40s. Anything in the 40s? No, I don't see anything left over in the 40s. How about the 50s? Anything in the 50s? Ah, I see a value here in the 50s and a value here in the 50s, right? But that's it. There are no ties or anything. So I think I'll give this rank 12, right? From 11, 12, then we'll do this as rank 13. 57 gets rank 13. Okay, now anything in the 60s? Well, I have one number in the 60s, another number in the 60s, and that's it. So two numbers in the 60s. This is the first one. So I guess this would be 14. And this number would be 15 then. Right? Okay. Now, let's go over and look at 
any other numbers that are in the 60s. No, I don't see any other numbers in the 60s, right? I do see numbers in the 70s though, right? So we've given out 15, that's our highest rank so far. So the next number would be 16. I think this would get 16, 72, and 78 would get 17. Okay, and then anything in the 80s would get 18. And then anything in the 90s would get 19 and 20. And we have 19 and 20. So there are no other ties except for the ones I have circled there. And now you can check to make sure you've given out all the ranks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Okay, so all the ranks have been given out. We ended at 20 like we're supposed to. When you first go through the ranking procedure, the last one has to be 20 because you're not going to take care of these ties until later. And even if you had, you know, unless the last value is tied, you will still end at the, at the end value for the problem. So if the end is 20 in the problem, if you have 20 values, your last rank should be 20. Unless, of course, there's a tie and after you adjust for ties, you might end up with something under 20, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and then and fix the ties then. What's going to happen with the ties is we're going to say, look, anything that's tied, we're going to do the average. So these ranks, 2, 3, and 4, let's add those ranks together. And when we add them together, we get 2 and 3 make 5, plus 4 make 9, right? And then we'll divide by the number of ranks we had. So we're going to give them the average rank. So 2 and 3 make 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 divided by 3, of course, gives you 3. Whenever there's uh, 3 things tied, it's always the middle number that's your answer for this, OK? So that means everybody's going to get a 3 here, no longer the 2. So don't give it 2, give them 3. So I'm going to give all the 13s the rank 3. So all the 13s will get 3. Okay, so that's how I handle the tie in that situation. Now here, same thing. These two are tied. So I'm going to take 5 plus 6 and divide by 2. That's going to be 11 over 2. That's going to give you 5.5, the number smack in the middle between these two, basically. That becomes the ranks for the ones that are ranked 5 and 6, the 14s in other words, right? We'll give those 5.5, 5.5. Now every other value gets exactly the rank that we had before, given it to it, right? So 1, 13, then 18, then 7, then 17, then 16, then 20, and then 8. All right, and then it'll be 14, 12, 10, 19, 11, 9, and 15. Okay, and you've just finished. Those are the ranks for this set of data. So you can see ranking can be kind of tedious, and there's a lot of error places where you could make a mistake. It's, it wouldn't be something that you know would be hard to do to miss a number and finish the ranking and realize that you left a number out of place and you got to go back and redo all the ranking. It's kind of a hassle. Um, but honestly, that's you know the way the procedure is done. It's great to let a computer do this, or to write a program to do it for a graphing calculator, or even to have Excel just put the numbers in order to make the ranking procedure a lot simpler. You don't have to like peck around and find the next value. So, but either way, it's not impossible, and it doesn't take that long. In fact, we just did this whole thing, and you know, with the explanation of how to do it within you know five minutes or so. So it's not too bad.